guys welcome back to my channel my name is Chelsea from just me Chelsea B if you're new here I am so glad that you stopped by my channel I hope that you will like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss an update from me so for today's video I'm gonna start filming a week of workouts I decided to go ahead and get signed up for the seaside half marathon which is gonna be held on February 20th of 2022 so it's six weeks from today and I have got a lot of running to do so I have a pretty solid base for running right now but three months miles is about my average for distance running so I've kind of got a lot of running to do to get to 13.1 so I have a six week training plan to get started on today which is going to be about three miles of a training run so I'm going to head to the gym and I'm going to bring you guys with me. You guys I just got back from the gym my face is extremely red and radiating heat so I can't wear my glasses but I'm um, very sweaty that was a really challenging three miles I kept it a pretty easy pace though I told myself I'm not gonna worry about pace right now I'm just gonna worry about getting the distances marked off my training plan so three miles done now I need to shower and probably make a smoothie to cool myself down and recover and do some stretching so Monday's run is complete just got back from the grocery store for the week so we picked up a lot of things to make some meals with so wanted to do a little quick grocery haul so we have I'm gonna try my own Mediterranean pasta salad so I got some pasta and um, we have some spaghetti and some sandwich bags just so that I can put some smoothie stuff in bags so that it's prepped and ready to go um, I have lots of lemons limes avocados also got some seasoning for the Mediterranean pasta salad whenever we moved we had to toss all of our seasoning so slowly building that back up um, red wine vinegar to add to the dressing for the pasta salad more coffee because you can't ever have enough coffee orange juice some ground turkey meat so that we can add that to spaghetti or just make like turkey burgers um, we have some oatmeal I haven't had this one yet I saw it the other day and I finally picked it up so that one looks really good purely Elizabeth is always delicious some feta cheese to go in the Mediterranean pasta salad and the Siggy's vanilla yogurt is my favorite I like to add granola to it and some fruit if we have it lots and lots of bananas also zucchini and squash I've been making that to go as a side with dinner and it's so good uh, grape tomatoes for the Mediterranean pasta salad and then some more apples both green and gala apples and then spaghetti sauce so that is our quick little grocery haul okay so attempting to make my own Mediterranean pasta salad with this little homemade dressing hopefully it turns out good we'll see to be determined have my chopped tomatoes and then chopped cucumber that I'm gonna add to it and then just boiled the pasta so that is cooling off right now <laughs>
got done with my run a little bit ago and what I did for today's workout was an interval run. So what that is, is basically I ran for one minute and walked one minute and I did that for two whole miles. So what I also did with that is that for the first mile, I did 0.5 incline on the treadmill and then for the second mile, I increased it to 1.0 and for every minute that I did, I increased the speed. So just by like 0.1. So I ended up getting up to 7.0 at the end. So it was a really good workout. And then I stretched after that at the gym. So I plan on doing a little bit of yoga tonight too, just to get an even deeper stretch in. And plus it's Wednesday. So, you know, I think some good yoga to de-stress and unwind after a busy work day is definitely called for. So it was a good workout day. Tomorrow I'll probably, um, I think it is, I can't remember what the training plan is. So I'll have to check it out. I think it might be three miles. So we'll see, but I might do that one outside because it's going to be really sunny. So yeah, but that is all for today's workout. How to keep the healing, keep the healing. guys I just finished my run for today it is Friday it is about 12 10 so I did three and a half miles today on the treadmill I did end up taking a Peloton class with Bex Gentry uh, she's my favorite run coach on the Peloton app so it was about 2.6 miles of a run with her and that was about a 30 minute class and then I decided to go ahead and to be able to tackle the three and a half miles on my training plan I added an extra mile after that so I ended up with about 3.6 miles total it was a really good workout. I'm obviously very red, as you can tell per the usual, and sweaty. So I need a shower. I'm going to grab something to eat really quick and then probably some ice cold water to cool down and then hit the shower because yeah, this needs to get washed. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's workout and that will wrap up week one of half marathon training. I'm going to try these purely Elizabeth seven grams of plant protein, classic cinnamon oatmeal packs. So I think I'm gonna add water instead of milk, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, maybe toss in some blueberries because that looks good. I did six miles today. It was my long run of the week and I officially have finished week one of half marathon training. So six miles is in the books. It was the longest run I've done in a really long time. Um, it's really windy outside. So my hair is just like going in every direction. I desperately need to take a shower to wash all of the sweat off, but it was a good workout. So I was thinking about it while I was running that I need to do more strength training this week. So I'm going to add that in for next week's training and yeah, overall, I think it was a super successful first week, and I can't wait to get into it next week. So thank you guys so much for watching this week's workout recap. I'm so excited to keep getting stronger and running longer, and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so that you don't miss an update from me. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.